Hi, Caitlin and Paul. How are you? Hi, Leah. Good. How are you? Good to meet you. I'm really well. I'm well now. <laughs> so <laughs> I loved your scenes together in this episode. There's lots to get to, lots to talk about this episode. Yeah. But first of all, what do you like best about working with each other? Oh, that's a nice question. Um, well, Caitlin is absolutely superb. She is so giving as an actor. Um, I feel like I genuinely have to don't have to do anything because she just does everything. And I just have to react. Um, she's always uh, got a great joke. Uh, she's always makes me laugh. Um, and it's just just an absolute pleasure to to work with her. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> so much compliments just coming at you. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I love, I love working with Paul just because he is the most generous person I've ever met, both in terms of his actual personality and then working with him on screen as well. And I think what's so great about us kind of meeting each other and coming together was we've had really similar experiences having just, you know, come out of drama school when we got this job and then both kind of stepping into this machine, um, which, you know, is, is like nothing I think either of us could have imagined really and yet it's been a blessing to have each other to kind of hold hands throughout it I think. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. So what was your experience for both of you coming onto this machine? What was what that was like? It? Yeah yeah. Uh, well for me it was it was yeah it was mind-blowing I mean I'd I'd seen um you know when I got the job I watched all of the episodes before we started filming but I don't think anything can prepare you for actually stepping out on onto set and you know you're stepping out onto a world that's been made for you um it's amazing it's so beautiful and the people are just so wonderful and at the top of their games and I think for me that was just such an experience to be working with actors and you know the crew who are just at the top of their game and it, that's just been such a blessing really yeah absolutely everything that Caitlin's just said it was it was so exhilarating and bewildering I've never done it was my first ever screen job much like Caitlin as well and it's just having so many people on set you just can get lost in the kind of whirlwind of it all but as Caitlin said the people are just so great and they just ground you so well that the whole experience has just been an absolute joy from start to finish. Okay so let's talk about this episode. Caitlin I'm gonna start with you. I know it was in a book but how did you feel when you read Lizzie's speech to Claire about how the twins were like everywhere? I mean <laughs> you go Lizzie I and mean, go girl but like what was it like reading that and delivering that speech? I think well obviously you, you very much have to separate yourself from the character and so I when I first when I first got the part and I saw it was in store for Lizzie that's one of the things that drew me to her most was that you know she she defies expectations really and does something that I don't think anyone's really expecting so the thought of being able to play that was really exciting um but you're right like when 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 I read the scene in the book and then in the script I was like oh wow okay she's really explaining it isn't she she's really going there um but I guess I guess you have to set yourself aside and actually what it's made me do is like confront my own kind of biases or judgments about you know relationships or monogamy or anything like that and you know to to access her world and and to to make it right for her through her eyes because she, she doesn't think that she's doing anything wrong and maybe she isn't you know who who are we to say that it is wrong and I think that's what's so cool about her is that she's she challenges you know so many people's perceptions of right and wrong and that was really fun to play yes and so for both of you tell me about filming the two hand fasting scenes first with Jamie and then with Roger who I think you made him wear pants the viewers are not gonna <laughs> like that <laughs> so was it like filming those scenes um I suppose the first one because of the kind of mood of the scene it was like it was quite tragic and it was quite heartbreaking um, it was the first time the twins had seen anyone hear about their relationship with Lizzie as well. Mm -hmm. So seeing Jamie and seeing like Sam's kind of brilliant performance as well, seeing that anger that he has, it kind of makes him realize like, oh, they've done something, they've done something wrong here. And making them feel like they're, they're guilty in a way as well, because they feel like they might have betrayed his trust in a way. Um, so that was just quite heartbreaking and seeing Josiah leave at the back as well. 
but the complete contrast with the Roger and Brianna one because that is just like full of love and everything that we wanted our marriage to be and then in some sort of weird way it was Kezi's marriage as well kind of just loving kind of vicariously through uh, Josiah um so that was a complete just complete opposite of just like oh this is this is love this is certainly we got to celebrate our love in that scene which was um which was absolutely lovely and uh, Roger's wee bum was hilarious to see that <laughs> around and his wee loincloth that was uh it was very funny <laughs> yeah I love how each of the Frasers they react differently to the news which yeah. was interesting it speaks volumes about each of them yeah definitely which and I think I think as well like for that that scene that um we were just talking about there with Roger I think for Lizzie as well, it's so important for her to share that moment with Brianna because mm. they've been on such a journey together. And, you know, I think you would, you'd want to share like this exciting news of, of being pregnant. And whilst it's scary and everything like that, you'd you'd want to share that with the person that you're closest to. And, and I think it's her recognition as well of like everything that Brianna has done for her and has brought her to these two people that she loves. And, you know, she's finally secure and safe. So yeah yeah so for both of you tell me about working with Sophie and Richard and Sam and Katrina they were just a joy they just made us feel at home like I felt I think I was quite I was really nervous coming onto the show because I'd never done anything like it before and meeting these like stars and these actors of like you know renowned actors across the world and they're just like just normal people, genuinely. And I mean that as not in a cliche way. So my cat has just jumped up on the desk there. <laughs> she wants to get in the oh. interview. So if you see a ginger fluff, it is, uh, it is her. Um, mm. But um, they, yeah, they just made us feel at home. And um, yeah, I just totally grounded us. But like Caitlin said early on about the whole kind of the crew and the cast, like Sam, Cat, Richard and Sophie were just all of that. Um, sorry, she's <gasps> pressing the mute button there. <laughs> I get oh, it. She really Let's wants see to see her. her. I want to see Let's her. Okay, she won't appreciate this uh, lift up. She went, yam. There she is. Oh. <laughs> my dad Beautiful. will be so happy that she's made this interview. <laughs> and my she's dad's a star now. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> the risk was that they were going to jump in. You need to go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> but um, yes, back to the interview. Uh, yeah. They were just, yeah, really, really grounding people. I think as well, there's just absolutely no ego there. Absolutely, so, yeah. you know, they set the precedence for everyone coming into the show that, you know, we're a family and everyone's equal and everyone has a say and everyone's voice should be heard. And kind of what Paul and I were both saying with this being our first job, what's been really amazing for me has been to be in the scenes and get to watch these amazing actors do their work and learn from them and then so when it's come around to it being time for us to do a bit of the heavy lifting being able to put that to practice has been really cool yeah just to what Caitlin was saying there it felt so inclusive like uh the way Sam and Kat would be like they would just get everybody involved like hearing everybody's ideas and making a decision from that it was never as Caitlin said no egos the set just felt just so inclusive which was a dream working environment for an actor to kind of be in yeah so what are you excited for fans to see coming up? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's, it's <laughs> going to be, um, you just talk, you talk about this season, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I next mean, season, are you filming now? We are indeed, yeah. We were, um, mm -hmm. Caitlin just up, were last, were last week we were filming? Was mm -hmm. last week we were last yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just great to be back. Um, it was like that during um, last year with season six, especially because I think we just felt really grateful and thankful that we could be working during a time where, our industry just shut down and um to 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 feel a part of like just to see people again it was just so incredibly moving I think I was kind of near to tears that first day um so to do it again this year as well it's just uh, it's like it just feels like coming home mm, it does and I think there's some kind of iconic moments coming up for fans and book fans in particular and I think that's gonna be really cool to see how that plays out for people um Hopefully everyone will be satisfied with how we've done it. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of fans of this show worldwide. So what has the fan reaction been like for both of you? Overwhelmingly positive. Um, I, yeah, I think that's always a kind of like a, a wee nervous thing for joining a, a show as big as Outlander. You're kind of 
hoping that the fans uh, like what you're doing, especially because the books are so beloved as well. But it has been just overwhelmingly positive and you feel so supportive as well. And they, they support you online in a way that I could have just only dreamed of. Um, yeah, I, I can't, cannot thank the fans enough for all their support. It's, uh, it's uh, amazing. Yeah, there's, there's such a warmth. And I think stepping into something, knowing how much this show means to so many people and us coming into it and also you know it's changed our lives in a different way than it's changed people who read the books lives or who found the show and and I think this collective love for something is you know it's really rare to be part of something like this and yeah that that support endless support that we seem to get on Twitter or Instagram it's it's mind-blowing really I've not really known anything like it um from friends or people in other shows even like it really is special to Outlander I think yeah and it's just so nice to see people so passionate about something as well it just, mm-hmm. just brings you so much joy mm-hmm. well thank you both so so much for the art that you bring to the world I really appreciate it I can't wait to see what's next thank you so much for everything thank you for thank taking you so the much, time Laura. thank, thank you. you nice to meet you, you. Soon. Love to meet you, you. too Bye.